At an early age, I knew I wanted to create and make things. I wanted to show what I could do, whether it was with construction paper or pencil or looking at a building structure. I knew I wanted to make something. I was looking at various different scales and I was interested in creating. As a kid, I loved commercials. I thought they were magical moments. I didn't know why they were magic, but they were magic to me. And so I danced around and I sang jingles and I just thought they were the best. And even though I was the younger sister, I bossed everybody around. One of my earliest memories was coming to the North Carolina Museum of Art in downtown Raleigh. Um, I remember wearing a thick green polyester suit. It was after church. I was with my mother and my sister. And I remember walking into the museum and really being mesmerized by a painting by John Singleton Copley. And I remember standing this close to the painting and I couldn't believe that it was a painting and I tried my hardest to see how the artist painted. I've drawn on everything from a piece of index card to the cardboard back and that's in um, packages of paintings. Like it's just, I didn't have a lot growing up so it was just for me, anything I could do at that moment Anywhere that I could draw, I was going to find a way to do it. Had one color of Play-Doh, played with that until it actually dried up. Made a lot of dinosaurs, a lot of, a lot of small trucks, a lot of aliens. Um, it was just a lot of fun for me. Well, when I was a kid, I used to love um, listening to stories my mom and dad would read me. And, and even when they were reading stories, I would hear other stories in my head. At a very early age, I found out that I was a pretty good writer because um, between the time I was in grade school and the time I was in high school, I got accused of plagiarism four times. So I figured if people thought I was stealing other people's work, then I must be a pretty good writer. When I was little, if you asked me about my day, or if you asked me to tell you a story, you'd better have some time. When I was a kid, I would, I would just sit there and sort of draw whatever shape it was, whether it was a spaceship or a jet plane or, you know, a muscle on Spider-Man's, you know, forearm. I just keep going over it and going over it and trying to get it to be just right and just, you know, craft it right. I have five brothers and two sisters. Growing up in a big family, it's really hard to communicate what I really want to express. So I used music to do that. Somebody once told me, you give an artist a stick and a rock and they'll make something beautiful. Whether it's pushing a button on a camera, drawing some storyboards, or pushing around some pixels, I'm a storyteller. This is what I do. I'm a designer. This is what I do. We create something out of nothing and we bring a client's vision to life and I get a real kick out of that. Creativity is like a spark. You know it when you've got it. My favorite thing in design is logos. It's taking one idea and boiling it down into the perfect form. I see inspiration everywhere no matter where I go. It could be the mall, it could be down the street, it could be in my own house. I'm constantly inspired by things around me. What inspires me is seeing all the pieces of the puzzle come together. The practical side and the creative side is what makes the magic. I still boss people around. <laughs> I learned about marketing and advertising in high school and I discovered that you could tell a story about your company and its products. I'm a spin doctor. I'm a great communicator and I'm still telling great stories. This is who I am, an art director, an interactive ninja, a creative problem solver. Through this design and art journey, I've be become better 
and I've become better by working with other people, receiving the criticism, receiving the praise equally, and I like that. So design from this kind of mad scientist uh, disposition I had as a kid, I really didn't want you to look at my work until it was finished. And now I realize that the process is my work and that the development of that work before we get to the end is the important thing. I didn't know at the time that that would lead to a teaching profession. Um, I just liked doing what I did. As a creative director, one of the things that I do in my job is to make the impossible possible. I cannot imagine a life or my life without creativity. It's who I am, it's at the core of my being. If you have a passion, if you believe that you are a creative, there's a place for you. There's an industry for you. Feed your passion. Go for it. For me, it's just, it's shocking for me to realize that somebody would actually pay me to do something that I love doing. Don't let anyone discourage you. Follow your passion and the money will come. This is what we do, and, and you, you can, can too. too.